July is my birthday month and to celebrate, I always make myself an ice cream themed cake. I wanted to re-watch these cakes as inspiration because I need to make my own birthday cake next week. Thanks, How to Cake It team. Eee, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Raycon for collaborating with me on this video. So first up, it's the first birthday cake I made on the channel. It's my chocolate chip mint ice cream cone cake. For the cone portion of my cake, I stacked together ultimate vanilla cake layers with Italian meringue buttercream, and then I chilled it and shaped it into a cone. For the scoops of ice cream in my cone, I baked ultimate chocolate cake in sphere pans, or rather stainless steel bowls, because they naturally already have that scooped look. It is one of my favorites. It's actually my favorite flavor of ice cream to make myself. Cause I don't have time for fake mint flavor. I want real mint. Yeah, when I make my own, I steep fresh mint leaves in the milk and cream that I boil. And then I let it sit to really infuse the mint flavor. And then I make ice cream from that. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I use fresh mint leaves. Yes, yes, when it comes to ice cream, I'm a full snob. I'm more snobby about ice cream than I am about cake. I use fresh mint from my mint garden. And no. <laughs> okay, back to cake, back to cake. We'll do a video on my mint chocolate ice cream one day. hardest part of this cake was creating the perfect grid on the cone. No wonder I chose this for my first birthday cake on the channel because I, not only do I love ice cream, but I love lining things up. I really, really do. I, I, so I really enjoyed it. It also was a big day because Jocelyn, do you remember back then I asked you all for a birthday gift and I got so much more than I asked for. So when I was making this cake, we only had probably just over 2000 subscribers on the channel. And during the filming, I asked you guys for 5,000 subscribers for my birthday. And we ended up getting 100,000 subscribers. It was, awesome. it was amazing. It was such a moment. I just remember looking at the channel every five minutes and seeing we have like 2,000 more subscribers <laughs> in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. Okay, so. So guys, if you feel like giving me that this birthday, I will also take it. <laughs> throw, throw, throw out a crazy goal, yo. Could I have 10 million subscribers by my birthday next week? Let me tell you something. I have to I have to just throw this in. So my son watches YouTube and right now his number one question other than do I know Ryan and Dan TDM is do you have the diamond? Do you have the crystal button? <laughs> he asks me constantly because a lot of the gamers have it. And he's just like, "Where's yours? <laughs> what are you doing to get the crystal button? What mom? Mom, are you even trying?" I need to make my sphere cakes look like scoops of ice cream. So I ice my mint chocolate chip buttercream onto the surface and I hadn't started using my invention yet here. So I just used a spatula to smooth it as best I could. And then what I do is dab on pats of that buttercream all along the bottom edge because you know when you scoop ice cream, it's the part that hits the inside of the scoop is smooth, but the there's those little like ruffles of ice cream around the edge. Two and a half to three feet high, no? Yeah, it was big. It was really big. I was far less tired then, you know? <laughs> and I want 5,000 subscribers. By the time we do get the crystal button, Jocelyn, I'll be just making cupcakes. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Everything's good. People are gonna be like, we can't see what she's making. Because like laboriously icing. Yeah, I'll be like. Oh. What's next? It's banana cake. What is it? What did I make out of circles of banana cake? Is this snake? Is that the split banana split? Oh, is it banana split? Wow! So to make my banana halves, I cut circles of banana cake and iced them all together and kind of curved them. And then I cut it in half lengthwise to create the sliced bananas. That's what I did, right? Chengis is like an expert. We could, I could give you a cake exam and you'd know more answers than me. So once I shaped my halves of a banana, I then had to cover it. And I need to make sure that it was covered all the way around. So I picked up my cake, put it on top of the fondant, and then folded it over and smoothed it all out and trimmed away the excess. This is the part of the cake where I use my sculpting tools to create detail and texture on the banana, even though I'm gonna put it in a bowl and cover it all up with other cakes. Hindsight. It's a Yolanda thing to do, it's not even funny. Choices, you know what I mean? Choices. I'm gonna create my ice cream scoops. I baked three sphere cakes, one with pink vanilla, one plain vanilla, and one chocolate. And they're gonna represent three types of ice cream, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Very Neapolitan. Remember Neapolitan? I never liked Neapolitan. At all? No. Oh, well, thank you for taking a stance. <laughs> Jocelyn. You're right. I think we should just we should just invent a new ice cream. We call it we'll call it like what will we call it? I just it just has to be chocolate and vanilla and that's it. We'll call it Yolanda. That's that's what you can do for me and how to cake it, guys. I make my own cake every year. Just get an ice cream named after me. So people could be like, I'll have a scoop of Yolanda and a scoop of chocolate mint. Thank you. We need Grenadian nutmeg. And are you ready? We need a ripple of some caramel, girl. <laughs> How about cinnamon nutmeg ice cream? Yes. Chocolate yes. ice cream with ripples of caramel. Yes! We've done it! Who do we need to call? And the container comes with like a frizzy curly wig on the lid. That's gross. So you just open it. It's not real hair, it's fake. <laughs> Guys, come on, this is gold. Gold. Oh, and there's gold leaf on the top. Gold. Oh yeah, it's gold, of course, there's gold in it. Hi. I technically don't eat banana splits, but I love the way they look. Yeah, I have never ordered a banana split in my life. Me neither. And I'm not, I love bananas, and I love ice cream with toppings, but I'm just like, banana, no. I'll see you at breakfast tomorrow. Not only do I make myself an ice cream themed cake every year, but I also make these giant over the top novelty cakes that take me two to three days. So often while I'm working, I love to listen to 90s R&B or an audiobook or a podcast. And right now I really love my Raycon earbuds. Not only for the sound, but they actually stay in my ear, no matter if this hair is down or up or I'm icing or washing dishes they stay with me. Wireless earbuds are the only way I can make it work in the kitchen. I don't need wires in my way, I'm always using my hands and constantly moving around. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. They sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. Their everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. They also come in new fun colors. I actually wanna order a pair for my husband because he's been very jealous since I've had these. And he's like, do you like those ones? Can I try them? And I'm like, absolutely. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash cake it. I'll get you a discount, honey. For my next ice cream themed cake, I made a giant sundae. You know those Sundays that you see like when you go to like 
famous cafes in New York and they bring you like this ridiculous size sundae that is clearly not meant for even five people, it's meant for 10 people, that kind of sundae. So the first thing I did was build the bowl. I baked my cakes in a bowl as well as some other layers to just, to just create a really nice deep bowl that could be filled with ice cream. I carved the bowl a little to give it some, you know, just some interesting features. So I kind of made it look like one of those melamine bowls that are indented. And then of course I covered it with pink fondant because that's very how to cake it. It also had kind of a nice vintage look. Yes, it's very vintage. You're right. You're right. Like me. How many of you out there have played records? Leave a comment below. Jocelyn, I look forward to reading your comment. Look at, look at the world. I was playing records. When I got my Walkman, this was like the height of birthday gifts. I'm now sitting here with three computer screens and a camera holding a computer in my hand. You see what I'm saying? I might be vintage. Once my bowl was covered and I flipped it back right side up, it was time to fill the bowl with ice cream scoops. I had to ice all of my scoops individually. So I iced the vanilla scoops with vanilla bean buttercream, the strawberry scoops with pink buttercream, and I actually chopped strawberries into the buttercream this time, and then the chocolate scoops with chocolate buttercream. And then what I did is I picked them all up and alternated them onto the bowl cake. And then I added my dabs of buttercream around the edges to make it look like scoops. And then I topped the whole sundae with chocolate sauce. It was kind of like a champagne uh, tower, which you know how well that worked out for me. Um, I poured the sauce from the top and then let it all drip down, even drip down the sides of the bowl. I'm topping off this sundae with large chocolate shavings, a big pipe of whipped cream, buttercream, and again, a maraschino cherry. Oh, I put a candle in this one too, and the candle has a Y. I put a candle in my own cake and then blew it out. Yay! Ooh, okay, this mega cake is one of my favorites. It's a caramel cone cake. I love it. One of my favorite treats as a kid that they used to sell in ice cream trucks was called a nutty cone. And it was like a sugar cone with ice cream and then there was caramel and then it was dipped in chocolate and it had chopped nuts all over it. And I just loved that treat. So I wanted to make a mega cake that embodied that treat. Uh, we got a cone machine and I made cones and instead of rolling them up as cones, I left them as flat layers. And then a few of them I did roll up as cones and I kept, I'm gonna save that for the topping of this. For the inside of this cake, I alternated layers of chocolate cake and vanilla cake. I spread ganache on the surface of the cake and then piped a fence of ganache. And then I took my flat cones, laid it inside the fence I sprinkled chopped nuts inside as well. Oh, and then on top of the chopped nuts, I spread Italian meringue buttercream before I added the next layer of cake and I just repeated to the top. Then I dressed up some sugar cones with sprinkles. So I took sugar cones, I dipped them, into melted pink chocolate and before the chocolate set, I sprinkled sprinkles all around the top edge and then let all of those cones set. And then, oh, and then for the little ice cream scoops that would be on top of all these cones, 
I actually made Rice Krispies and rolled them into balls. The hardest part of this cake was icing those Rice Krispie balls to look like ice cream scoops because they're so small and light. So I stuck them into a mini cupcake pan to keep them in place and iced them on top of the pan. This is basically just a video of me icing various things shaped like scoops. That's what this is. <laughs> and now I'm gonna drizzle my store-bought caramel and chocolate in that same grid pattern, but along the top of the cake and I'm really letting it drip down the sides. It looked so delicious. It was so delicious. Uh, and the cones and like the cake just looks, oh man, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Once my cake had been drizzled, I then lined up my Little Rice Krispie ice cream scoops along the bottom at equal distance from each other and upside down. And then I placed those dipped sugar cones on top of the scoop and into the cake. Oh, and then I had to reinforce the top waffle cone. So what I did is I glued a sugar cone inside it just to make sure it was really strong. And I put a dowel through it and put it on top of the cake and then added my bigger Rice Krispie ice cream scoop. Oh man, looking at the inside, I totally remember how good this was. <gasps> so good. Chengiz, did you try this one? No, Yolanda doesn't need to send me any cake. <laughs> Orhan really enjoyed it. We have so many new products I'm incredibly excited about. Piping kits, cookie kits, apparel, sprinkles, and we always have new Bake You Happy live tutorial classes for you. Check everything out at the link in description below. And thank you again to Raycon for collaborating with me on this video. Can't get enough cake? Check this out. Okay, yo, do you have enough inspiration for your cake this year? I, I'm getting inspired, but I gotta figure out what to do that's different. I've really made so many ice cream cakes. I've even made an ice cream sandwich. This is why you guys gotta get me my own ice cream flavor and then I'll cake it. <laughs>